Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I am excited we got something big, an old series that I'm bringing back and I've wanted to bring it back for quite a while. Anyways, it is fixing fan builds. So here's the map that we're going to be fixing up today. It was built by a fan and uh, well, it could definitely use a little bit of help. I like some of the ideas that they have going on here, but there's also just a few things that uh, could definitely be fixed up. But overall, the idea they have is pretty cool. Is this on purpose? Are these like, are these leaves? Oh, it's all one, huh, okay. Kind of strange trees, who cares though? So today what we're gonna be doing is completely revamping this map, creating all new models for it, and uh, just having a good time. Now I do wanna let you guys know if you would like to submit a map for this series, all you have to do is send me screenshots on Discord and the place file on Roblox. However, I do not just accept any old map. I don't accept anything that uses asset packs or free models. And the map has to be like 90% done. Like if there's just a couple trees on a base plate, there's not really much I can do with it. The idea has to already be there for the layout. Other than that though, I'm down to fix this thing up. Here's our starting points. I think I'm just gonna copy the base plate, uh, CV. We do have a texture on here as well, and it is smooth plastic. I am going to change that to plastic uh, to sort of uh, get rid of the shine on it, like this shine that we have. If it's plastic, it's more uh, more of a matte, and it looks better. Let me go to our lighting and just get all of this out of here for now. I'll redo the lighting as well. I'm going to move this down to about here, and now we have the same size map. We got a map folder. I'm going to make one more folder for a new map and texture parts. Perfect. We're going to name that ground. Perfect. So guys, to get started, I need to make a list of all the assets that we need to rebuild. So we have a normal tree, two of those. We got pine trees. That's it for trees. All right. We got some rocks, lights. All right. Paths are done in studio, so not too, too worried about that. Definitely the trees. Uh, we do have some terrain, which uh, I'm not exactly sure how. I want to redo this, but I know it definitely needs to be redone because it's a bit weird. So I'm going to just put uh, terrain in here. Fountain for sure. And then we have an upgrade and a shop. So I'm not sure how that works. Like, like I feel like the shop and the upgrades is kind of the same thing, but we're gonna need a shop and an upgrade shop, basically. All right, so we have a list of all of our assets. Oh, looks like we have some mushrooms as well. Now we have a list of all of our assets and we're gonna hop on into Blender and start remaking everything. And then we'll be bringing all of it into studio. It's about to be a banger. I just can't wait to see the reaction. All right, guys, first things first, let's go ahead and make the fountain. We are gonna go pretty simple, but also uh, not like as simple as the one that was currently in the game, because I definitely want it to look uh, better at the end of the day. We're gonna go 16 sides. I do want it to be fairly rounded. Top phase, bring it down. And boom, just like that, guys, the fountain is done. Up next, let's go ahead and move on to the, we'll go the normal tree. We're gonna keep this one very, very simple. It's gonna be the normal tree that just has the uh, the one side on it, if that makes sense. So let me go ahead, bring this up. We'll scale it in, go up a little bit more. Something like that, I would assume. And now we're going to grab an Icosphere, scale this up. Then we're gonna scale it on the Z axis, something like this. Shade smooth and auto smooth, guys. And for this, we're gonna select random and then uh, deselect our trunk because we didn't need to select anything on there. And just kind of scale it a little bit. That'll give like some random shapes and areas. This top point does not need to be that harsh. I guess the bottom one doesn't really need to either. And boom, one simple tree is done. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of the trees and I'll be back. Fellas and fellettes, the trees in the fountain are done. I am not sure. I think I want to texture everything at the end. I, I don't know because a gradient vibe would, uh, I think a gradient vibe would be cooler. So we have the trees. We have the fountain. Let's go ahead and make some rocks and mushrooms. Guys, the rock and mushrooms are done. There we go. Up next, we have uh, t -t -t lights, some terrain pieces, and possibly shops. I'm going to try to just kind of fix up what they have, though. All right, guys, just got the models done. Now I'm going to go ahead and texture everything so we can get a nice gradient look. And then we're going to hop back into studio. And uh, this map should look a lot better than it did before. All right, guys, so I need to just get on this because I feel like this video is already forever long and uh, I haven't started on the new map. The assets are done and they are right here. 
And first things first, I want to remake this path uh, for a few reasons. First things, it's uh, just weirdly tall. Like, what is what is this? I'm I'm just confused. And they're not really connected well uh, in a lot of spots. There's a lot of hard angles, and it just seems pretty jagged and not too modern and new. So what I did was I took the snipping tool and sort of roughed out. We have our fountain and circle over here. Another circle over here. I'm not sure what that's for, but it's in their map, so I'm redoing it. And then we have shop and shop and then they just kind of intersect with each other. So I'm gonna make the paths first and then start placing the assets I've made. And uh, you guys are probably gonna see this kind of jump forward from literally a base plate to like a partially done map. All right, guys, the first steps to greatness have been taken. We've got a bit of the path down. It's a lot smoother, just a less jagged feeling. And I think it's pretty nice. Here's the new lights we got put down. Very good. We also have like uh, point lights in them as well, just to kind of help. The new upgrade station is this over here. I thought going with a normal shop building is kind of pointless. They seem to have some sort of futuristic vibe on this one, which uh, I deleted, I guess, on accident. I don't know where that went. Anyways, they had like a futuristic vibe, so I just wanted to give a, a cool upgrade station spot. And then now we're going to build the store and start getting the borders done. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it yet. I just want it to look awesome. And we'll get the trees. Probably next time you guys see the map, it will be 100% done. So I just uh, fixed up the lighting a little bit. First off, I think the map is looking a million times better. If we go over here, even with the new lighting, I mean, this map looks a little bit better, but still kind of uh, just scuffed. <laughs> I do want to say, I think these guys are new in Blender, and the reason these trees look so weird is because it's more than one tree inside, like, it's, it's two trees or more, and that's why the leaves are at random points, but when they exported it, it was all one model, and they just didn't go back to fix it, I think. But guys, we went from this map right here, dang, my bad, guys, we went from this map right here to... Are you ready for it? This map right here, guys. I think it looks a lot better, honestly. I'm gonna spawn into both and see how they look. Yo, guys, uh, I'm actually doing it like this. Hold up. I'm gonna make this really small and extend it over. And then, uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> and then I'm gonna make this and make it like that and like this so I can get to the other map. There we go. All right, let me spawn in. All right, guys, here's the map that was presented to me. I haven't really changed much on it. Wow, these paths are thin. This is my first time spawning in on it. These paths are pretty thin, uh, and I did accidentally delete the upgrade station. I will say that, but I haven't really changed anything else. This was the map. Yo, I forgot to add the mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna add my mushrooms, and then my map will be done. But I could show it to you guys real quick. Let's walk on over there. I keep trying to shift to sprint. Like, my boy, I'm not a scripter. All right, we're here, guys. And first things, it, like, to me, it just feels warmer. Just more inviting and, like, a funner vibe to play on. Now, I do this series completely for free. If you guys send me your maps on Discord, make sure to send screenshots first. As, uh, you know, I kind of pick based off what I see. But, uh, yeah, I love this. I really like how it turned out. I need to place the mushrooms, and then the map will be 100% done. All right, guys, all mushrooms are placed. I may have went a little overboard. Like, I probably could have used a little bit less mushrooms. But I do think the map looks a lot better. If you guys would like me to do a series video on your map just like this, Make sure to send screenshots on Discord. Once again, if there are free models or asset packs, I don't do those maps, but I hope you did enjoy. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.